Chicago Cubs reliever Colton Brewer is heading to the ILA after a poor reaction to a bad outing on Saturday. Brewer was pulled from the game in the third inning against the Los Angeles Angels after getting just two outs and allowing three runs on two hits and two walks. As George Lopez came in to replace him on the mound, Brewer walked into the Chicago dugout and decided to punch the wall out of frustration. The Marquee Sports Network reported that Brewer broke his non-pitching hand after punching the dugout wall. He was placed on the 60-day IL with a fractured left hand, and the Cubs selected the contract of Hunter Bigot to take his spot on the roster. Frustration like this has led to injury in the past. In 2004, Yankees pitcher Kevin Brown had to miss time after punching a wall in the team's clubhouse breaking two bones in his non-pitching hand. Emotions can certainly run high, no matter what professional sport it can be. And in those moments, we've seen coolers and water jugs launched on sidelines and in dugouts. For baseball specifically, buckets of sunflower seeds and gum usually go flying too, with baseball bats being used at times to beat up the objects. Trying to channel anger differently is the obvious ideal method in these moments, but if it is to happen, not causing injury is the priority. Now, Brewer will spend time rehabbing an injury that didn't have to happen in the first place. Brewer, a six foot four right hander who played in three games with the Yankees last season, has had a rough 2024 campaign with the Cubs thus far. He has a 5.66 ERA over 16 games after this outing, giving up 13 earned runs, 16 total, over 20.2 innings pitched.